Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Um, yeah, so basically, I just want to thank Don Star for mentioning um in his tag video, which if you've seen has been uploaded Sunday afternoon. You probably see it in the morning uh, before this video. This video, um, he got me thinking when he mentioned about all my 3D stuff that I do and how I should stick with it, and I'm really happy that he said that to me uh, and uh, about me. So it made me just feel really positive. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would just share a little video of the five most um, the five 3D Blu-rays that knocked me out of my socks, uh, so to speak. So it's the um, top five 3D Blu-rays that surprised me. Um, let's just say that. So um, let's start off in order here of which ones I saw first leading into last. Uh, so as I said, my first ever 3D Blu-ray I'd ever watched, um, which was just the first ever incredible 3D Blu-ray, which got me to love 3D uh, the way I do, and it is Avatar. Uh, and the weirdest thing is I've sold a bunch of Blu-rays and 3D Blu-rays I used to own, and I buy them back every so often, and then I sell them and I buy them back. This is the exact same copy that I've had since uh, that time uh, when I watched this. Uh, it's the exact same copy. I've never sold it. I've never had to rebuy it. I've kept this all the time. And I'm so glad that I still kept this one. Um, I don't know why. I could just never see it in my heart to get rid of it. Uh, and the reason it surprised me was because a lot of people said that the, fi the film was terrible. And I really like the film as a standalone point. And then everyone was like, oh, the 3D, uh, it's not that great. But I guess it saved the movie in some ways. Like I know my brother, uh, my brother cannot stand the movie. He said the 3D... Uh, if it wasn't for the 3D in that movie, um, then the movie would have sucked altogether. Uh, but I, I like the movie. Uh, but a lot of people said the same thing he said, which was the 3D saved it. Um, no, I just think the 3D just gave it what it needed. I think without the 3D, the movie... Uh, I don't know why I say this, but I think without the 3D, the movie is pointless. Because in fairness, with such great colour and just such great direction and everything, I think the 3D just fits that movie so beautifully. Um, so it definitely surprised me as the first home experience 3D. I didn't think that you could ever get great 3D like that at home. So it was amazing. Uh, a couple months after that, I also bought... Uh, this is also another Blu-ray that I'd purchased. Uh, a couple months after, I'd bought Av um, Avatar. And it was uh, the same kind of 3D as Avatar, which is amazing. And it's also another amazing movie. Uh, Pacific Rim. Uh, if you haven't seen Pacific Rim on 3D, which I'm pretty sure you have by now, just every scene looks so desirable. There's not one fault about Pacific Rim on 3D Blu-ray. Not one fault at all. Which just makes it such more of an enjoyable movie anyway. Um, yeah, so it just it's, both of these movies were stunningly beautiful. And talk about stunningly beautiful 3D movies that surprised me. The third one up is Beauty and the Beast. Oh, such a perfect free. In fairness, it's a perfect movie on its own. Um, it didn't need 3D. Let me just put it this way: uh, it didn't need the 3D. It got. But I tell you something now: this is probably the best 3D Disney transfer ever. The best 3D Disney Blu-ray to exist. I have watched every, uh, I think, oh, hang on, I tell a lie, other than uh, Inside Out, The Good Dinosaur, and what was that other one? Inside Out and Good Dinosaur. There was another animated one, I think. No, I don't know, but I've uh, up, up until Big Hero 6, I've seen every animated uh, Disney 3D film that existed, and this just it is the it is the it is the king and queen of all 3D Disney Blu-rays, the best. I I can't say it that much, but it really is. It's just fantastic. The 3D is just so phenomenally in your face. It's like surrounded by the dark castle. It's amazing. Then, <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna. Everyone already knows it's going to be my favourite 3D Blu-ray. Everyone was already going, oh, it's his favourite. Bet it's his favourite. Uh, 
It has to be added, just purely for the fact that I didn't think I'd ever see a Yu-Gi-Oh! movie in 3D in the first place. So the fact that I did, and the fact that it came out as the best 3D Blu-ray I own? Alright, I'll tell you something. Beauty and the Beast has slightly what... A little less quality. Not that much. But it, it it's not as great as as Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time. It's still amazing though. It's, it's pretty much close. If, if you watch them back to back, you'll see that they're both ex exactly, like, so close to each other. Um, but Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time, it's just, it's so amazing. The fact that there's just so much 3D in it and they use it so well. It fits the story. It fits everything so beautifully. And the last one is is the biggest surprise. Like it literally you had me, my my mum, my partner, my my partner's family. All of us were so 100% shocked when we watched this cuz we were laughing about it. We didn't think it was going to be that great. Now the first copy I got of this was just a standard 3D copy of this, but this time I I bought it back. And it is Creature from the Black Lagoon. What the hell? I mean, this movie came out when? Like, wasn't it like the 1930s this movie came out? Oh, sorry, 1954. Apparently. I I've got to find this crap out. Give me a second. Here, from the black lagoon. Yeah. So, 1954, this came out, and what a beautiful 3D movie this is. For a black and white movie, it is stunning. I said, even though like they, there's some ocean scenes in this when they're underwater, but even though it's black and white, you can still tell they're underwater, and you feel involved. You feel like you're under there with them. It's just, oh, it's fantastic. The scene at the beginning where uh, there's like a massive wall and there's like a fossilized hand sticking out, and honestly, as it zooms in closer, the hand does this. <laughs> it's so cool. It's amazing. <laughs> um, I just wanted to share this with you guys, like um. If you're up for a really good, fantastic, like, 3D marathon day, then these five are definitely worth the watch. I tell you that now. There are a fa oh, there are so many fantastic 3D movies out there. I must give them all credit. But these were the ones that surprised the hell out of me. Like, there's ones that you expect to be good, but then there's ones that you don't think are going to be amazing, and yet they turn out, uh, like, so... Oh, turn out gripping. <laughs> But as you guys know, I changed my schedules, uh, like my schedule. So Monday is no longer a review day. Monday is an anything goes day. So I can do anything from movie reviews to an unboxing to stuff like this. Um, I just wanted to do this because I said this, if it wasn't for Don Star saying all the amazing stuff he said about me being uh, great with my 3D videos and that and my reviews. Uh, I wouldn't be talking about 3D as much now. So thank you. Um, don't forget this Wednesday. Me and my partner are doing a 3D Blu-ray movie review on House of Magic. Which, uh, sorry about the camera shake. Like, every time I touch my desk, it seems to rattle. Uh, she's going to talk about the the movie review. And then I'm going to jump in with all the 3D details for everyone out there that hasn't seen it or is looking forward to buying it. Uh, and then, as you guys also know, my pre-order of uh, Rogue One is on its way. Um, and should be with me tomorrow. So look out for an unboxing and look out for a review on Wednesday. The unboxing will be the, the minute it turns up in this house. Um, but the review will definitely be Wednesday. So expect a 3D Blu-ray review of this. But please let me know in this video, in the description, would you like me to give a more in-depth review on Rogue One? Or would you rather me do what I usually do, which is five minutes on the story and characters, and then the rest on the 3D? Just let me know what you want me to do, um, and I'll do it to make the video better for you guys. And also, just thank you for all of your support. 
and uh, the, the, the subs, thank you for making the subs go up and thank you for commenting and joining in. Don't forget, in the UK, every Saturday midnight, so what is it, Sunday today, so it'll be Monday tomorrow, Tuesday, Tuesday, so in six days time, in, I don't know why I had to count, I should just, in six days time, at the same time as my last live stream, there will be another live stream. It'll only be every single week. It can be anything from, from Q&As to just movie talks. Uh, just let me know what you guys, what you guys want to see. You know, what you guys want. Let me know what you guys want me to do in the, in the live stream, like conversation wise. Nothing stupid, obviously. <laughs> but just let me know what you guys want and I'll do it. To make, to make the videos better for you guys and to make it more enjoyable, just let me know what you want to see. Um, yeah, I just want to, yeah, so I want to do that. Anyway, that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, please show your support by clicking that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel and only seen a couple of my videos, just click the subscribe button to show your support anyway. Could really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.